Hi everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul, and today we're doing an unboxing and product tour of the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus CPU cooler. So first off, let's take a look at some of the key specs for the Hyper 212 Plus. Very important if you're going with an aftermarket heatsink fan. CPU sockets that are compatible is socket LGA775, LGA1156, and LGA1366. Those are from Intel. Also, I should mention 1156 and 1155 are both equally compatible. So this will also fit a newer Sandy Bridge socket 1155 motherboard. Also for AMD, it is compatible with socket AM2, AM2+, Plus, and AM3. You have all your listed CPUs there, but of course, if you are using a CPU with this socket, this cooler should work for that CPU. Next up for dimensions, we have 116 millimeters long, 51 millimeters wide, wide and of course the height all important is 159 millimeters uses aluminum fins it has four heat pipes and it includes a 120 millimeter fan the fan speed for that fan is 600 to 2000 rpms and it is a pwm fan so it can be controlled through your motherboard uh, the other specs on here are regarding airflow pressure life and specs life expectancy and whatnot we're going to move over here to the back of the Hyper 212 box where you can see a few different diagrams here just to the specs of the, seat of the cooler itself. Here you can see you can add an optional second 120 millimeter fan. Here you can see that the heat pipes have direct contact with your CPU's heat spreader and the direct contact heat pipes have proven to be much more efficient at transferring heat away from your CPU and out into the air of your case. Excellent airflow, of course, especially if you're using two of the fans, and they've included an all-in-one mounting solution that will work for all of the different CPU sockets listed over here on the side. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Now, if you've not heard of the Hyper 212 before, I would be a little bit surprised, because this is one of the best-selling and highest-rated products that we currently have on Newegg.com. It is very popular, not just because the heatsink itself is very efficient at cooling hot CPUs, but it is also very reasonably priced by the good folks over at Cooler Master. So that being said, this CPU fan has just gotten tons of accolades. If you're interested, go ahead and look up Cooler Master Hyper 212 reviews. You will find that all of the professional hardware review sites really like this, as well as all of our customers based on the product ratings. So there's a look at the heatsink fan itself. As you can tell, it's significantly larger than a stock heatsink fan. So if you're using this as a replacement for your stock Intel or AMD heatsink fan, make sure that whatever case you're using has enough height to fit this entire item into it. Also, if you're just a little bit short on height, don't try to cut these off because they're, they're, they're hollow inside and you don't want to do that. And we've heard of people doing that before. Not a good thing. Okay. but. Since we are pretty much giving you guys a quick overview today, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how to go over the installation. But first, I should mention everything else that's included. Heatsink fan of itself, of course. This is a back plate to use behind the motherboard. This is your Cooler Master warranty information. And this documentation here in multiple languages and a very big sheet is your installation instructions. Fear not, they have given you uh, actual picture diagrams here for the instructions, and really this looks a lot bigger than it is simply because they've included many different languages. Um, if you can understand the words that I'm saying right now, you probably just need the Eng English section right here, and they've listed off the different installation instructions for both the Intel and AMD socket types. All right, so real quick, let's run down all of the accessories that they've included with the Hyper 212, and these are just various mounting hardware for the different socket types that are available. They have also kindly included two plastic brackets here. These will actually mount to a 120 millimeter fan, just like you see on the side of the existing fan right here. That allows you to take pretty much any 120 millimeter fan, mount these brackets to it, and snap it onto the other side. So that's really nice to be able to just take a 120 fan that you have lying around and use it for that purpose. You don't have to buy anything custom. Now the they've also gone ahead and included some Cooler Master thermal paste right there so you can use if you're applying this to a uh, new CPU and you need to apply thermal paste of course. Uh, these rubber pads here are actually also for use with the plastic brackets. You uh, want to mount those on the inside of the bracket that way when the fan is mounted up against here, you don't get any vibration. It keeps the noise down. 
and then we have an assortment of screws and bolts and whatnot, and these are all used for the various mounting solutions. Now, um, Cooler Master will actually have you uh, mount a few bolts through your motherboard. They mount into this bracket here. They've included a uh, hex bolt adapter head, which has a simple Phillips head on the other side. So you can use this hex adapter and it pretty much fits in with the bolts and that will let you um, secure those down tightly without having to have a special wrench. Uh, you can just use your basic Phillips head screwdriver. Now the mounting solutions for this are slightly different depending on which socket you have. But this little bracket here adjusts. Uh, there are de several different settings you can do. This is the, what you want to have it set to if you're AMD. There's another setting if you're using an Intel solution. And then these little pins here at the edge, you can actually reset. So, whoops. So there's a couple different points. You can have the, these little uh, bolts here at each end set to, and um, you just want to adjust those further away or closer to the CPU based on your socket type. Cooler Master actually has a very thorough mounting solution video for this. I'm not going to go too far into that, but just moving on to the heatsink fan itself, there you can see the direct contact heat pipes at the bottom. Again, the direct contact heat, contact heat pipes just provide really good uh, heat conductivity uh, that goes right up against your CPU's heat spreader, and uh, it just provides excellent performance in just about every test people have thrown at it. Finally, we have our four pin CPU fan plug there that will plug into the CPU fan header on your motherboard. And it is PWM, so that allows your motherboard to control the rotational speed of the fan itself, which is great because it can lower the speed if your CPU is uh, cooler and you will get less noise. And it can ramp up the fan speed if your CPU is under load and gets a lot hotter. One final point to mention if you are going to go with the Hyper 212 is it does require motherboard removal in order to install this backplate and get the heatsink fan mounted to your motherboard. Now some cases feature a cutout on the back of the motherboard tray that allows you to mount a aftermarket heatsink fan solution such as this one without removing the motherboard. But if your case doesn't have that, you're going to have to do a little bit of hardware work in order to get this installed. But trust me, once you do have it installed, the difference is just night and day, both in terms of the thermals and as far as how, how hot your CPU gets, as well as the noise that's generated when the fan ramps up, especially if the CPU is under load. And that pretty much wraps it up for our product tour of the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus aftermarket CPU cooler. Thank you very much for watching Newegg TV, everyone. My name is Paul. We'll see you next time.